Okay. Now they walked in the other day and said, we're not happy with this. This doesn't uh, uh, do it for us. I said, well, you have told me I can cross out, I can change whatever I don't agree with. That's what I've done. Uh, and then they tried to intimidate me and I asked them to leave. Um, so right here, and now this morning I went back through it again and a couple of little things I changed. Um, uh, Ser Serene Se Se uh, Safar uh, is, uh, is actually um, uh, representing me too now. So it's great to have her on board. And, uh, yeah. and this morning she rang me, actually it's six o'clock. I thought, wow, that's fantastic. Um, and uh, so she congratulated me just for, for standing up for what is right. Um, but today, really, we're here for what is right. Now, um, let me let me say also that, um, well, you know that on, on Sunday, I'm, I'm a preacher, I'm a pastor, preacher of the gospel. And this is a church right here. It's not the same identity as the Lots of Fins Aquarium. Um, it's just really sad that they've sort of tried to come as they have against me perfectly, uh, uh, personally in my, in my business, which is what they've done. However, I, I, I might say now also that which I, and I haven't put this on Facebook over the last six months or so, but I have had um, over 27 visits from the police over the last um, a few months. Um, and the only reason is for not wearing a mask. And I have awful <laughs> reasons for not wearing a mask, legal reasons, I have medical reasons, and I have um, religious reasons, uh, which they know. Um, so, yeah, thank you. So unfortunately, they um, uh, have really harassed me, and uh, and then um, I have on statement also that uh, well, I, I, I have been told clearly to my to when I, the gentleman came into my shop, won't give names, but um, the police then rang. Um, this is our local police, guys. Now let me first of all say that I love the police, that I love the government when they follow the Commonwealth Constitution, when they do what they're there for. They've been appointed by the people, and, and I love the, uh, they, the police used to wear a, a cap, I don't know if it says on their badge still, but uphold the right, uphold the right. So there, we have a point of that they're there to protect the people, to uphold the right. And I'm just so sad today to see so many following and enforcing mandates that are not right. Uh, even according to, not, not right morally, not right legally, not right according to a Commonwealth Constitution. Now we do need to understand that the Commonwealth Constitution says clearly if any state law is put in place that differs uh, or that uh, con conflicts with the Commonwealth Constitution, then it's null and void. It's, it's obsolete. Okay, the, the Commonwealth Constitution overrules it completely. But look, I'm not a doctor of law or anything like that, but there's a few things I understand. Um, and so uh, they, uh, the police at that stage rang up WorkSafe and said, gave them a mandate Will you go to lots of Finns Aquaria, shut him down, put him out of business, crucify him, destroy him? That's the attitude of the place. That's what they did. Okay. So then the work safe came down here, and um, I have it uh, told to me uh, later um, by the actually chief work safe, safe guy that came down. He said, uh, when I came down, um, I had the whole circus in the car park, two detectives, half the police force, my whole team. I walked into your shop on my own as I always do. I walked around and I thought to myself, I cannot do this. Praise God. I think God touched his heart. There are still consciences out there. And uh, there's still some people that want to actually make a choice. We, we have freedom of choice, don't we? And uh, of what is right and wrong. And we're here today because we want to encourage everyone to make the right choice. Choose that which is good. Do that which is right. Treat others as you would have them be treated yourself what it's about so um, uh, he came back out of the shop and said sorry guys I can't do this so they all had to go um, I've, I've had um, a couple of two-hour standoffs with half a dozen police cars with flashing lights out the front here um, I could go on so this has been a harassment that's been going on and on and on and off and no doubt the DHHNS have also been instructed to come and do what they can to put me out of business um, so I'm here today uh, the prohibition order that I believe is unlawful um, says that there's a twenty thousand dollar fine if I open my door, and uh, I just want to, I just want to open my door. So lots of things. Aquarium is open for trade legally, and uh, we invite everyone to come. And so is the cafe, Driftwood Cafe. Um, 
I also want to say that uh, it's really hard wearing two hats here at the moment, but anyway. Um, the church, that, as you know, we opened the church last Sunday. Church doors will be open this Sunday as well. Um, we actually got all the band together, and uh, we've got a big truck at the stage coming out the front here. So we're going to have a full up concert here Sunday morning. So, uh, it's been a while. Been a so, so uh, 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock on Sunday morning, thank you so much. So we really want to thank you for coming. The Lots of Things program is open. I do have a, 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 uh, a COVID safe plan in place. I do have uh, the confirmation from DMHHS that the job is uh, COVID safe. So I do not understand why they came, as they did yesterday morning, the police at DHHS to issue a prohibition notice and to shut my business down when they're just going to affect five families um, and hundreds of children overseas. I want to say that this business was reset up five years ago for one purpose, um, and that is to pour all the profits uh, into saving lives all around the world. I actually have been traveling, thank you. I actually have been traveling other than the last 12 months. Uh, I've been traveling pretty much every month for 13 years on my own all around the world, uh, rescuing orphans, freeing slaves, drilling fresh water, feeding the poor. Right now in India, 